Hey, how's it going everyone? React 18 is finally out. The new version for React is out. And in this video, we're going to take a look at what it does and how we can actually use it. So if you're excited for this video, please give it a thumbs up. So I'm going to remove my face and let's take a look at what React 18 actually does for us. So React is moving from version 17 to version 18. And the biggest thing or the biggest reason for the change is the newest feature, which they actually don't call a feature, but it is the concurrency mode. Now, this will enable React to prepare multiple versions of your UI at the same time. Basically, it will unlock new features. So in this video, we're going to take a look at what are these new features in React 18, how to update your project from a React 17 version to a React 18 version, and how to install and use a completely new V18 of React. So first of all, let's get started with what is new in React. The new APIs are now exported from the React DOM forward slash client. And I will also show you this a bit later on on how exactly this works and what you need to change in your code in order for you to import the new APIs from the client. A new method is create root, and this will create a root to render or to unmount. You will use it instead of react dom dot render. Now, without this new feature, React 18 will not work, so you need to use it. Another one is hydrate root. This new method will be used to hydrate a server rendered application. You will use it instead of react dom dot hydrate in configurations with the new react dom server APIs. Again, new features in React 18 won't work without it. Now, both React root and hydrate root set a new option called on convertible error in case you want to be notified when React recovers from errors during rendering or hydration for logging. By default, React will use report error or console.error in the older browsers. But version 18 also comes with new hooks, which are the new features that I was talking about. Now we're not going to actually go into detail. I'm going to create a separate video for each one of them, but I will explain them. So let's just go really quickly over them. New hooks will be use ID, start transition and use transition, use deferred values, use syntax external storage, use insertion effect. And let's just really say a couple of words for each of them. Use ID is a new hook for generating unique IDs on both the client and the server while avoiding hydration mismatches. It is primarily useful for component libraries integrating with accessibility APIs that require unique IDs. The next two hooks are start transition and use transition. These will let you mark some state updates as not urgent. Other state updates are considered urgent by default. React will allow urgent state updates, for example, updating a text input to interrupt non-urgent state updates, for example, rendering a list of search results. Next hook is the use deferred values, which will let you defer re-rendering a non-urgent part of the tree. It is similar to debouncing, but has a few advantages compared to it. Next up, use sync external store. This hook allows external stores to support concurrent reads by forcing updates the store be synchronous. It removes the need for use effect when implementing subscriptions to external data sources. And last but not least, use insertion effect, which is a new hook that allows CSS in JS libraries to address performance issues of injecting styles in render. And as I said, I'm going to create a video on each one of them, explaining them in much greater details and also giving examples. But for now, let's just take a look how to upgrade a existing project to a existing V17 project to a V18 project. Okay, so here we have an existing project, which is basically something, if you're following much, you will see it is a multi-step registration form using React. Now it works perfectly. And although I'm using React 17, if we right click, inspect, and go to the console, you will see this error. And also on each and every project that you would open now, you'll see 
React, React DOM dot render is no longer supported in React 18. Use create root instead. Until you switch to the new API, your app will behave as it's running in React 17. So basically all of your applications will still work, but if you would like to implement a new feature, then they won't. So the only change that you have to do, there are actually two changes, is to first of all, install React 18, and you can do this by, first of all, you need to stop the server, then, MP, then npm install react space react dash DOM. Now let's hit enter, and this will take just a couple of seconds. And after this is done, you should see, let me just see here. Uh, okay, React 18, React 18. Also, if you take a look in our package.json, we should now see React version 18. But we still have this error, even if I, uh, let me start the server again, pm start, and the server should start again, we still have this error. Now, the only changes that you have to actually do is within your index.js file. This right here is what you have to change. Let's comment this out. This will break the application. Now, as, I, as it said in the error, and as I showed you in the presentation, you need to use the create root method. So for this, I'm going to create a const, I'm going to call it root, and then I'm going to assign it to create root. And within here, I'm going to grab on to the root from the HTML file. So document dot get element by ID, exactly the same thing that we had up there. I'm going to select the root ID. So the ID of root, which is in your HTML file. If we take a look in public index.html, here is your root ID. So this is what we're grabbing onto. So let's go back into index.js. We have our root ID. Now we can grab onto the root variable that we created dot render and we're going to render our app. So open and close app component and we can, and our application should work again. But there's a very last thing that we still need to do is as I said, the React DOM will now need to be imported from forward slash client. And also we're not going to use React DOM anymore, but we're going to use React root. And there should be actually, because it's a method in within query, bra query brackets. And there we go, it works. You see, I can jump through my app and it's still working. So this is how you would update your version 17 to version 18. Now let me create a separate app and show you how a new installation would work because you would have exactly the same problem. So I could just stop this server, control C. I could move one level up, CD, and let's just create here a new application. Let's say npx create dash react dash app. I'm going to call my app, my app, my app, v18. Now this is going to take just a couple of seconds. So I'm going to fast forward until this is done. And there we go. We have our app up and running. Now we could check our package.json and we'll see we have react version 18 and react and react dom version 18 installed. But if we take a look in our source index.js, we still have the same rendering method. So again, here you would need to do exactly the same thing. So if I would start my application npm start, then I would get exactly the same error. So again, I need to delete this, also delete this and this I don't need. And we need to first of all import create root from react dom forward slash client. Then we need to create a root, assign it to create root method and within here, we're going to grab on from the document dot get element by ID. We're going to grab onto that root, or if you wish to rename it, you can do so. And now we can just do root dot render, and we're going to render our application and hit save. And there we go. Our app is now working again. So, and now you can take advantage of all of the features for React 18. Okay, everyone, thank you very much. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, if you did, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell, and catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye.